Hey, yo, where'd Nick at? Back there in the cut. I noticed I was doing some looking through your stats. Draft eligible in 2026. 4.8 points last year. He was averaging nearly 18 points per game. Hey, would you believe that's the highest point average for Princeton Hooper in the last 20 years so far? Now a Tigers possession. Lee, creating. I know you're studying economics, but is basketball part of the future dream, or, or what do you think? Uh, I'm Xavier Lee. I'm from Toronto, Canada, and I'm a sophomore here at Princeton. Good eats, good eats. We used to have the, uh, let me see. What y'all know about these? Opening these? Yes. Mess. <laughs> I'm gonna open one on her bed. What y'all got in the fridge, though? Not much, bro. Uh, y'all stay like with the area. tomatoes. <laughs> these are essential after lift. You shoot in the dark? Yeah, it's not that bad. <laughs> You're a different game. It's not, it's not that crazy, I promise you. What y'all say around here, Max? It's the Max. I mean, to be honest, I'm not even really shooting right now. I'm just trying to like, yeah, keep my feel. Or else it'll be slow for me tomorrow. Of Princeton? Yeah. Well, I mean, for stars last year, I wasn't really putting in that much work. So, <laughs> yeah, I didn't really play much as a freshman, which I, I had a good role for a freshman. It's hard to play in college as a freshman, especially if you're not like, you know, like a highly touted, like five star or whatever. Um, but when I came in, I, I knew it was going to be tough to, I just wanted to like play a little bit. I wanted to get in the rotation. I wanted to contribute, obviously, that's like everyone's goal. And I, I had a good role. Like, I played in a lot of big games. Um, you know, I definitely learned a lot too, but like, it was definitely an adjustment, like coming from high school where everyone, like everyone who's D1 is the guy at their high school and then getting there and everyone's way older than you. Um, so it took me some time to like, kind of find like how I could still play my game while playing like college basketball. And in terms of like transferring, like I don't want to transfer just cause I don't know, after last year, like why would I? Like we did so well, you know, became like home here, like in terms of just my teammates, my coaches. So it just felt like it felt it felt like the perfect like stepping stone towards my sophomore year. So don't want to transfer. Uh, what do you mean by like you didn't put in that much work? A lot definitely changed. Like last year, as being like a freshman, like I had to figure a lot of stuff out. Before I got nice at hooping, I was going to, I, I don't know if I want to say too much on that, but me and my friend Nigel, we both hoop, but we would both make mixes and like charge him like 10 bucks, 20 bucks, make some bread. This was before we got nice, so like we were like really care. It was like the reverse of most people. But hey, uh, how old were you guys? Like middle school, high school, oh, grade seven, grade eight, grade nine. Dang. Bob Productions, balling on a budget productions. <laughs> but yeah, I'm nice with the Premiere Pro. Yeah, super. I know what's happening. I know what's happening. You used to make them. Yeah, exactly. I said, get the B-roll right, get the B-roll right, you know, get the, get on the beat drops, get the get the speed ramping right, you know what I'm saying? Only, because you need to understand, like, what's tough in the basketball move to understand where you're supposed to speed ramp it, right? Yeah. Exactly. People don't understand that, so. 
Sometimes you can see that. What up? You really big into anime? Bro, listen. I, what is it? Demon Slayer? I've never even watched this, but someone sent me it, and it was too hard not to put in the room. So I, I might put it, like, it, it fits right here. I might put it as a tapestry, but I don't know. It might be a little weird, so I kept on around for now. The reason I didn't get a P5 is because I knew if I got a P5, I'd be on the game too much. So I said, oh. chill. Yeah, just think smarter, right? So I didn't ask for one for Christmas. Calm with my game. The only games I really play on this is I got UFC. Is that a Connect? Nah, nah, nah. Wait, is that what? Is that an Xbox Connect? Nah, 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 nah. This is, I don't know. It's like a mic and like a, I don't know what it is. I don't have a mic. I play UFC. Oh, okay. I play a lot with Dev, but he's gone, so sometimes I just be running story mode. Um... Oh, and also, we've lost Matai. Pocky's mandatory in the crib. Mandatory in the crib, I have it. Um, What's your profile picture? We play 2K. Uh, oh, my uh, profile picture is Kilua. I don't know. I, I was kind of rocking with him. I thought it looked like him a little bit. And his character's tough. If you if you ever watch Hunter x Hunter, shows fire and he's a tough watch character. Him? Hunter x Hunter. Yeah, watch that. Some people, I'm sure some people know it. Yeah, have to probably. know it. Yeah. Um... We got, we got all the Asian people out there. We got, uh, hey, Nick, you know what, bro? Dynamic duo right here. <laughs> we got Toronto, Skyline, Motivation. Let's get his paper, obviously. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's I called. See. And it's like schoolwork vibe, you know what I'm saying? Like, my roommate drew this in high school. Oh. I thought it was hard, so I kept it. Shout out, Priest. Bro, one thing I will say about, like, college, the way I can tell, like, people turning from, like, kids to adults is, like, they don't, like, people always wear these, like, I wear bracelets, and people are starting to wear watches, which boggles my mind, bro. There's no way you're wearing, I don't know. Maybe I need to upgrade, but, like, I see all my friends starting to wear watches and not bands. But I got hella these. My earrings, I told you I lost my earrings. All right, going out sad, bro. I got a couple of fake ones here. Look, hold on, wait. Look, I got a bunch of, like, these. Once the NIL hit, it's different, but for now, we're, uh, we're down bad. I got my fortune up here. It should say, I mean, you, can, you can do it. Soon you will be sitting on top of the world. And I, got, I got this last year in the spring. Oh. It's a good time. And these are all like my favorite Bible verses. This is like the one I like really. This one right here is like my, my phone case too. Mm. So, and it's just like where my, I read it sometimes before I go out for the day. Um, yeah, that's about it. Even if, it's, even if it's not working out, like, I'll just go, like, dribble a ball and just, like, yeah. pretend I'm in a game, you know? That's, like, usually what I do. Usually it just means take, like, 20 step back threes and, like, run back on defense. <laughs> but most of the time, like, I like doing it just because, like, I like being in there by myself just playing music. It's yeah. calm, you know what I mean? Bro, I need oh, you. Crazy. Yeah. <laughs> the chicken's good. Y'all are halal in here. Really? You always eat greens? Yeah, I try to, bro. <laughs> I swear to God, I try to. Sometimes I just put it on my plate and then, like, throw it out, but, like, I try to eat them. A Sprite? <laughs> Yo. Bro, just watch. Just wait, just wait, just wait. Just wait. Whatever. Nah, I, to be honest, I eat whatever. Like, they just tell me I should eat a lot. So, obviously, I try to eat healthy, but even my... Like JD tells me, like you can eat cheat meals. You just need to keep eating. So, yeah, I definitely try and eat healthy, but just kind of more like quantity. I'm trying to get calories in. So you're getting the collab. Yeah. Wait for it. 25 Sprite, 50 vitamin water, 25 Minute Maid. Good plate, man. Thank you. What meal of the day is this? Like right now, you're not even hungry. I'm not hungry at all, to be honest. We gotta eat though. The only time I'm really hungry is after practice. But other than that, like breakfast, not hungry. Lunch, not hungry. Late meal, not hungry. But it's like I just have to eat. That's that's why the protein shakes come in handy though, to be honest. Cause like, like I can just chug it and it's fine.
I would say last year I wasn't I, w I wasn't very disciplined. Like I don't know, there's always just so much stuff going on in my head. I definitely didn't like work out enough. I didn't. This was like going into the season and during the season I was just kind of like trying to like be happy with like playing and like trying to figure it out while I was there. I wasn't really thinking about the process as much. So I, I think like that's probably like, the biggest like step I took into this year. Like I kind of figured out. I don't know. I don't want to say, like remove distractions, but like like locked in on what was important. shower. Do you use you you just use sandals? Those? Oh. It's definitely a dream. I'm I'm trying to see how far I can take it, but you know, being at Princeton, it's it's a lot to balance school and, and basketball. So um, I'm just trying to do my best at both, and then whatever happens with either, I'm looking forward to it. It's just amazing. The school we just uh, respect so much for the academics, getting a whole lot of attention for the athletics this time around, and you're riding both. Enjoy it. Creighton tomorrow. See if you can pull off some more of that magic, and we'll be watching for your number four. After March Madness last year, after we went on that run, was like when I really like made my mind up on like going to next year I want to have like a bigger role. I want to like show what I could do more. The day we got back from the Sweet 16 Creighton, we were all talking about how we we're all gonna take off for like two weeks, like just live, chill out, but like I remember the next day we got back, Jack and I, he's also a sophomore, we were in the gym just playing ones and just like working out and like I just like felt so motivated after the t after a season. I just don't want to take time off, and I was also like preparing for like the Canada trial, which I got invited to like right before March Madness. So I didn't really have like a time to like give myself a break. I'll say like spring of my freshman year, once the season was over, like I really locked into just like trying to get better. Like I was in the gym every like we would we would have mandatory workouts, and we work out in between classes every night me and Leigh would just go and shoot more on the gun. It was either schoolwork or like shoot, so obviously I would pick shooting. Um, still got my schoolwork done, but. So we yeah. After that kind of like break between last season and this season, like I was really motivated. Like I wasn't in a great mental space, but like I was really. Why not? Why not? <laughs> I don't know. I just kind of felt like I don't know, but I will say like it was the most like focused I'd ever been. Like I just wasn't really doing much besides just like basketball in school. What was a typical day like looking like? in the spring last year.
I mean, to be honest, I think I was like the most focused like spring and then going into like this year, like in the preseason. Playing with Canada in the summer showed me, like, it, it told me to keep going. Like, I was really motivated before, but once I kind of had some success, like, on that level, and like, felt like my name was getting out there a little bit, like, people were starting to talk about me, like, that just showed me that like, I could really do it, you know what I mean? So, I had, like, I made goals for myself this year, and it was like, I knew I, like, at that point, like, playing against other, like, top prospects, like, there's multiple first rounders, lottery picks from all these random countries that we're playing against. It was like, I don't know, it made my mind up that, like, I could do it too. So going into sophomore year, definitely as motivated as, as I was before, but like I had something to like fuel off of. Mark, we do want to come into a position in which we can begin to sit up nice and tall through the spine. And then begin to relax your shoulders. Like the way it works here at Princeton is like, even if you're on the basketball team or whatever team, like you're still the same in terms of like the school. Like you get placed with like random roommates. You're at most schools. I feel like you live with your teammates, but like you gotta take the same classes, same schedule, eat at the same places. So, and obviously it's a lot of schoolwork. So, so like the change I made was I would, I like started to wake up early. I went to bed earlier and woke up earlier. So I started my day earlier and ate breakfast every morning to try and, the biggest thing was like trying to put on weight, kind of what I worked on in the off season. So that let me do that. And then I'd work out before class instead of like before practice. So it just kind of like spread my day out. And I just felt like I was getting more, I was being more productive for sure. And yeah, me and Ro, one of, one of my coaches, um, we just made that thing like every single day. This year, like my mom got me this. Kaiser. Yeah, every day it's like write out that and this journal then. Mm. And it works out good. Yes, sir. I used to, I used to it so corny, like all that. But once you start doing it, it actually helps. When do you start? Like actually like being as I said. Uh started like beginning of the school year. Only this year. Yeah, when I got here. Probably like in the summer to be honest. But I got like, I started doing it every day this year. My room is like nocturnal, like hospital, like stay up to like 4 or 5 doing work, playing games, whatever, and then sleep to like 11, 12. <laughs> like during exam seasons, our schedules are like flipped. Like he was sleeping, I was up. I was up, he was sleeping every time. I don't really nap on game days that much. I used to last time that happened, so. I think everyone's dream is to make the NBA. Like, uh, that's always something I've thought about and, like, dreamt about. But, like, I never really, I don't know. My trainer's been telling me I'm going to the league. He always told me I'm going to the league. I'm like, bro, chill. <laughs> like, you don't need to keep, like, stop saying that. But, uh. Why did you used to tell him to stop saying that? Just because, not stop saying that, but, like, I don't know. I don't like talking about my goals too much. I like like just trying to get them done and, like, I don't know. I don't want to think big picture like that, especially when I hadn't like done the work to show for it and like really proved it yet. I always knew like inside, I always thought like I could always be good enough. But for me, it was just like whatever level I get to, I just want it to be better. Like I remember in high school, I was like, I just want to go D1. I just want to like get my education through basketball. And then once I got here, I was like, oh, I just want to play. I want to be a fact. I want to be you know contributing. 
And then once I started to get that role, I was like, what, realistically, like the next step is like that. So um, definitely like going into this year before I kind of like got some recognition, I had that goal in mind and I wanted to like prove that I could be in that conversation. So I feel like it was like stepping stones. Playing like EYBL, like it showed me like, oh, like I can compete at this level. But I was never too worried about like rankings. Like all that matters is like what school you're going to. Like it doesn't really matter if you're ranked or not. But um, yeah, like I was never like, I've never seen myself on like any ranking. Like not just like ESPN or 247, like no list I've ever like seen my name on when I was in high school. So it's never something that really like crossed my mind to be honest. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I was just in mindset like, Wherever I get to in basketball, I'll be happy with. Like, I'll just take what I can. Like, I used to always have a coach who said, like, use basketball as a tool to, you know, make your life better. Like, get education, travel the world, meet new people. Like, basketball isn't like the end goal. It's like what you use to get there, kind of. So, just like take taking what's given to me and just working for it. Um, I, I don't think I ever expected to like kind of gain as much attention as I did, which is cool. Um, you guys have like a team, like an athlete cafeteria, or is it all the same? Nah, they're all, there's like five of them on, so the five like res colleges, yeah. each one has like a different calf, and you can go to any of them, but. Football, so well, I didn't know y'all had a team. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but hopefully it fills up tonight. Last weekend it was sold out, so we'll see. It's never really, we don't really get that many students out of games, I'm not gonna lie to you. It's mostly like older people, like community people. Oh, okay, okay. Is Princeton a big school or is it like a private school? Nah, it's low key. So I think it's like, you like 10K, 10,000, something like that. Oh, okay. So it's definitely not that big. Like everyone kind of knows everyone, oh. more or less. It's definitely not like one of those like state schools. For sure. mm -hmm. But we definitely have more fans than last year. Last year games sparse, super sparse. This year it's a little better. And wherever we go on the road, it's like there's a lot of people too. So I don't know. Work in progress. Do you definitely feel like the energy change? Because there's like way more people. Yeah, for sure. I don't really notice as much when I'm playing, to be honest. But mm -hmm. like, when we watch it back, I can feel the energy. And like yesterday, for example, like, we were down the whole game. Yeah. And then we kind of like had a run like and like midway through the second half and you could definitely feel You usually do work before the game when you can? Like school work? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, today we play late, so we have more time. So like. Yeah. Gotta try and get something done, you know? Yeah. But if we play earlier, no. But like. After the game, you do it? Nah, nah, nah. <laughs> After a game, we're like, we're doing something as a team, you know? Yeah. Or I'm like with my like family or something. Or I'm with my friends, so I don't know. It's hard for me to play a game and do schoolwork, like, less than that. So. Yeah. I try and get it done before because I know after I'm not going to. And like during this time, I wouldn't really be doing anything else, so. Like I'd either just be listening to music or like taking a nap, but I try to stop taking naps before games because like I feel like groggy after. Yeah. So, I don't know. And I slept in hell today. How long does library open till? Bro, all night. <laughs> For real? Yeah, I think so. I mean, I've never been here till closing time, but it's definitely open for a minute. And, jeez. Hey. So, what? How are you? What's up? <laughs> You went to Plotables? No, I ordered it. You ordered it to the library? Yeah. Dude, I'm starving. That's ridiculous. Yeah, it was efficient. Like, <laughs> do, you, do you know I actually how to make an Excel doc, bro? Or not Excel, like a graph. I'm looking struggling. No, I can't help you there still. I feel like it teaches you how to manage your time, but definitely there's some times where like, I wish I didn't have to do this. I just lay down and rest before I go to practice. But. You get used to it. Like, I like now that I've been here, like, none of us really think about it like that. But 
I mean, I don't think anyone is dying to get it done, you know what I mean? But it is what it is. But I stretch a lot for sure. I started doing also like prehab before I play. I go in the locker room and you know make sure my ankles are straight. You know you saw me doing the prehab yesterday, and I still rolled my ankle in the game. You see that? I still rolled. It was crazy. But um, yeah, doing that. Um, my best friend last year, Dev tore his ACL at the end of the season. Um, oh, yeah, he he. I think he's just about to get cleared right now. Um, but you know just seeing that also like made me like bring that to the forefront of my mind, take care of my body, um, and like prevention instead of, I forget what it is, but like getting right before. So Being proactive. Yeah, proactive, exactly. So yeah. Um, to be honest, like the thing that like really strikes me the most, cause, cause when I was younger, like, like, I don't know. The thing that kind of made me, showed me that I was like starting to like get to that level was just like when people would come out and film our games. Cause last year, no one was filming our games. In high school, no one would film our games. I remember, like when people would come to our games and film someone else, I was like, like, man's on my team to try to get clips and stuff, but no one was ever coming to film our games. So this is like, the thing that, it wasn't like the newspapers or like the articles or like, um, even like, I don't know, people asking us questions. Like it was like people coming to film, it was like people taking their time to film us, like that was pretty cool. So uh, yeah, that's, that was like, that was looking like my, uh, my benchmark to see if we we're getting up a little bit. Uh, how does it feel to have all the all like the attention all of a sudden from being like your own ranked, uh, no one's in your games like you said, so all of a sudden uh, some people could say that you're responsible for like filling up the stadium. That's cool. That's cool. I would say like I haven't I've tried not to like think about it too much because like I don't know, something my mom always told me is like as like the stages get bigger, like they start to feel smaller, which I feel like is so true. I remember when I was younger and I'd go to like a college game. Like I, I wanted to play at the level, but like it was crazy to like think of being there. But now that like, we're like, I'm playing on a team that's like doing well. And like, as you said, like ga gaining that sort of notoriety, like I don't really like feel it when I'm playing. Like when I'm playing, like all I think about is just like the defender and just like what's happening right in front of me. So sometimes like I want like, you know, kind of have perspective and like think about how cool it is, but I feel like at the same time, like I'm doing well because it's not like all I'm really thinking about is a game, which is like hooping. So, kind of, it's, it's a cool balance, I feel like. I think like I'm most natural just like when I'm just shooting like a lot of it started just because if I had stuff on my mind like it just feel comfortable for me to just be shooting on the gun and just like have something to do and then also just kind of like became like a part of my day like my day didn't feel done until I like just got shots up so it's a combination and then whenever I had to think about something like just I don't know like shooting on guns kind of therapeutic it's super calm so put on some music it's just you in the gym just me and my friend like I don't know. I find that like falling in love with basketball is just like playing well in games, but also like that stuff is like kind of like most like peaceful in basketball. I think. If I, if I was thinking about anything like school, even basketball, whatever was on my mind, like just shooting was like, that was like the go-to, you know what I mean? If I had no, no motion, no place, just go to shoot. So that just became part of my day, I feel like.
one thing I definitely got better is like fighting through like fatigue. Like I used to like, if I'm tired, I'm not working out, I'm not doing anything, but just like getting it done, you know what I mean? Like just one, one step at a time, whatever. Um, I don't know. I feel like there's always time to have fun. Like we're so busy with basketball in school, but we still have, you know, we're still like kicking it a lot. So, I mean, that'll come by itself. And then just managing my time. Like there's, I don't know. There's always enough time in the day to get stuff done, so. Big now. He's big now. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Hey, hey, comes you gotta, out. You gotta try. You gotta try. It comes out right away. You have to like. Uh, you, gotta, you, gotta, you gotta waft it. Right. From Canada. Oh, yeah. oh yeah, we flew him from Vancouver. Oh, to see cool, cool, that's yeah, awesome. Yeah, yeah. All the way from Vancouver? Yeah, that's crazy. Yeah. That's crazy. So we actually yeah. brought you as. Oh, Nick, tell him. Tell him, Nick. Tell him. Appreciate that. What's your name? Lucas. Lucas. Appreciate. Are you gonna add some of those? Awesome. No, I don't want any. It's just, you know, I don't want to get that. I, I, right now. I don't want to give. I don't want to give that. Wants, so you just Damien, want I don't want to give. Yeah, he wa he wants some for real. <laughs> Damien, I don't want to give. Fat. You can have some, bro. Don't worry. You can you can ask me for him. I don't want to give that. You know you want five of them. The video of this. All right. Okay. Three. Oh, it's rolling. Yeah, yeah. Oh, hey guys, Damien Lee giving me some. Bro, I'm having a lot of what trouble opening. Haribo. Haribo. Um, I'll open it for him. Right, clearly, he's the child. <laughs> Trying to get sponsored by Haribo? I would love to get sponsored by Okay, <laughs> he's doing it. I would love to get sponsored by anyone. Oh, this is kind of difficult, I gotta admit. Oh, oh you violated his thing. Uh, violate you, my friend. you guys don't have like early morning workouts? Uh, not, not never too early. Which I'm grateful for. 6 a.m. stuff. I don't know if I can go for that. But. Uh, even in preseason, it's like usually like nine. Yeah, it's usually nine. And then we always practice at like 4.30, like every day, so. The one time, the one time of year we have to early uh, work out is like first day of campus, we have our conditioning test. Ooh. And that's at like, I want to say like six in the morning, every year, the first day of school. And then after, once you pass that, early mornings is done. How'd you get ready for that? Uh, not gonna lie, I did more freshman year. Like before freshman year, I would like run, you know, a beep test. Yeah. It's got it's called like a yo-yo test, but like in Canada we call it beep test. So I did that on like a track, like on um, we call it like a football field. And then this year, I'm not gonna lie, I didn't do as much. I kind of just trusted myself because I was already in pretty good shape from. I played like for all of June with Canada, so I was like kind of in game shape. So I was like, I should be straight. And I was like working out too, so. How much time do you guys got to eat? Uh, lift at 8 30, so like. Wait, wait, wait. Y'all got to eat a full meal? Yeah. 100%. We got 20 minutes to eat. 10 minutes to walk, 5 minutes to change. That's right. You drink tea? Yeah, every morning. You're different. You drink coffee? Or nothing? Uh, when I have to. I don't really like doing all that though. I got the purple under that. Mm, he got himself a pair of purple jeans. You got a tag on or what? No. Well, I got the one on the back. Oh. It's tough. How much eating are you doing now? You said you've been trying to gain... Bro, a lot. <laughs> eating is, like, definitely the one thing that, like, connects my day. When I don't know what to do, I just try and get a meal in. So, I eat breakfast, lunch, dinner, and dining halls. And then there's also late lunch and late dinner. So before practice, I'll get late lunch. And then after dinner, we'll eat again at, like, 9 or 9.30. And then... Got these protein shakes. You already got your workout in? Nah, we, we get it in like the car. We see it pre uh, thing. You love lifting. You love lifting. Now clean, clean squat, bench. I take a pack of four every day in my, in my uh, bag and I drink. In the off season, I don't drink as much now because like we're playing so I don't want to feel heavy, but in the off season, I would drink three or four every day. I'd drink one after lift in math class after practice and before I went to sleep. So I have four every day, bro. Right before you slept? Right before I slept. It, that stuff doesn't really bother me. Like, like people sometimes can't like eat before they play. And like, I don't like to eat on game days, but like, if I'm just working out practicing, like I, I can eat whatever. Like I'll like, I'll dog like a burrito bowl and just go straight into lift. 
like it's kind of crazy like i remember when i was less disciplined in like high school like i would be eating like mcdonald's right before practice start running suicides it's crazy but like i don't really it doesn't really weigh me down so i'm grateful for that so i just after i eat spam these bro spam them so i don't know i kind of slow down now bro 24 grams of protein i'm drinking for almost like 100 a day just just in bed just in bed i'm i'm dogging chicken breast too i'm putting like three on my plate eating like two and a third so I don't know. We, we try to gain weight. Crazy thing is, I'm not even gaining weight. Like, I'm trying so hard, but in season, it's tough to gain weight. And then once the season ends, then I can really go back to, like, not, like, just thinking about gaining weight and not playing. Because right now, I'm just trying to, like, be at optimal, like, moving, you know? Seven forty-five, seven thirty, sometimes eight. Depends. Uh, I'll brush my teeth, pack my stuff. Um, I meditate every morning for seven minutes, and then I also have like a journal I start writing in. So I'll write the start of my day. If we have lift, I'll go lift before. Either I have early class or I have lift. So at eight thirty, I'll either go to class or lift, and then have class, go to the gym, work out with row, which is usually just like shooting, like game shots. Um, like quick, like 20 minutes, shower, go eat lunch, go to either one or two more classes, go eat again, and then we have practice after that. Like film is like 30 minutes usually, practice for like two hours, and then by that time it's like dinner, if I have work, do work. If we have plot, we'll just go do something fun, and then go to sleep by, I try to sleep before midnight. I mean, a lot of it, like, I just trust, like, my coaches, to be honest. Like, our strength coach, I, mean, I just trust the schedule he puts me on, do that. And then out of season, like, I, I communicate with him, I talk with him, like, I tell him my goals, and he helps me achieve that. Like, over the summer, I, w I stayed here for a month by myself, and it was just me and him, and we'd work out every single morning. So, like, just, like, Where's everybody else? the crib. Uh, people were, like, working different places, but everyone else was at home. Ivy League is the one, I think it's the only one in college where, you don't, like, there's no, like, summer basketball. Like, we don't train in summer, so, like, everyone has an entire summer off. But, like, yeah. So, but I was here for a month doing that kind of stuff. I want to do that, so. Yo, I'm on my way up. You just recover a little bit. Two shakes. Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. <laughs> Okay, this is 
Oh, it's dark in here. And so every morning 9 a.m. we just like made a schedule and did it every single time. And then now it's so it's, he could just he could just be chilling, but he takes yeah for sure uh, yeah yeah he he takes the time out every day in the morning to come work me out. So so you need people like that in your corner. Like I'm super grateful for that. Like and he never talks about it either. Like just kind of like what he does. I thought it was about happening again from last year. <laughs> like when he started going crazy. And some people like it and others want something else. And I think that's the other part is also saying no to families, to moving on in a situation where it's maybe not a great fit for you or the family, because there's an unrealistic expectation that, you know, you're not gonna, you're not gonna uh, maybe be willing to do everything you need to do to be a student here at Princeton, and get, but that's the expectation. Focusing more on like my habits and all my goals. I feel like everyone wants to make it to the NBA. And like, sometimes it's kind of realistic to think that way. But like you have it's to. unrealistic? I think it's, when you're like in high school and stuff, it's, you know, like everyone wants to make the NBA, everyone wants to talk about it, but like, and that's obviously my goal, but I had to like think more about what I need to do to get there. Like, if you just think NBA, 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 like, it's not that healthy. You have to like develop a plan, I feel like, so, you know what I mean? Like before I never really thought about how important like your mindset is when it comes to like dealing with adversity and like just like looking at life. Um, I feel like that's probably the biggest change I actually made in terms of like not the physical stuff and working out, but like just being more grateful, you know, thinking about things that, you know, you already have and not kind of focusing on what you know. I feel like at Princeton, like on a, in a place like this, it's really easy to kind of get caught up in what's like what's going on, what you don't have, what everyone else is achieving. You know what, Why? bro? Everyone's talking about internships. Everyone's talking about their jobs. Everyone's talking about what how they're doing in their classes. Like, and that stuff's good, but you gotta focus on like what you can control. I feel like it's easy to like lose sight of that here because everyone's doing really good at something. Everyone has their own little thing. So just focusing on what you have is like what you have and what you can control. Like. I don't know, it makes it a lot easier to deal with kind of stress and like anxiety when you're like, when you know you're like doing what you can, you know what I mean? Think about like your goals, I feel like a lot of it seems like unachievable if you just think about it by itself. Going into this year, like my, my end goal is I wanna be a pro, I wanna play in the NBA, but like going into this year I I thought like I just wanna like I wanna win as a team like we did last year. 
but I want to show that like I can't like I want to show flashes of it and then once I show flashes of it then I want to become like a prospect or you know what I mean like taking in steps I feel like it's easier than just thinking about that all the time because it's easy to get, to get lost just thinking about that trying to make like drastic lifestyle changes it's not gonna work like my workouts got tighter but I was just more consistent with it but the biggest thing that I feel like I also changed was like just like my, my mentality to be honest like my mindset like I don't know, my mom used to always preach to me this stuff like meditating, doing yoga, all that. I used to always think it was like whatever, but like this year, in the summer, like my mom, I like, I lost a bet to her and I told her, the, I don't wanna say the punishment, but it was, I would do hot yoga with her every morning for like, it was like two weeks. I think I went like six times or something like that. But like, I don't know, like it really helped me, like it started to work for me. And like just changing the way like, I think about stuff. I got like five pairs of these. I got these. This is just your favorite shoe? Yeah, this one ones I feel comfortable with. I got these playing with Canada. And then every game I wear the pink ones. I don't know why I played good the first time and I just kept wearing them. And I got these too. But they're all KD5s. Maybe, maybe I need that, K, that Nike. Nah, Nike and I was crazy. KD, I don't know. But I only hoop in these. Like all of these, the team issue ones. Hey. <laughs> Orange is that right, but this is drinks. Another one. Third of the day. Yes, sir. Only 10.30. <laughs> when you wake up early, you get a lot done. So your freshman year used to just Getting up at like 9.30. Dang. Brush my teeth, get a class, tired, work out after class, and then play after. But it's better like this because when I go to class, I'm awake. Like I'm yeah. alert, you know what I mean? But some mornings it sucks. Some mornings it sucks. Like, I'm not gonna lie, there's a lot of mornings where I wake up, I'm like, is this for me, bro? Like, pondering life, thinking about it. I'd say it happens like once a week, maybe. Once a week, one of those days. But today was a good day, so. Oh. Those weight, uh, weight sessions, those are optional? Mm-mm. Oh. You, you need to go, but most of the guys do it, like, you can do it at 3.30 right before practice. But I like to do it in the morning. In season, we only lift, like, three times a week. Ah. Two or three times a week. This right here is, like, the main gate, but, like, Superstitions, you can't walk through it or else you're not going to graduate. So we have to walk oh. through the low one every time. <laughs> and this is like the main street with all the restaurants and stuff. All, all the tourists right here. My, my game days are pretty similar on regular days. I just like, we have to, we're kind of at the gym for longer for yeah. shooting and stuff. And then I usually just stay there because I don't really want to walk back to my dorm. So I end up just like sitting in the locker room for like three hours. Oh. Sometimes doing work, sometimes just chatting. A lot of, a lot of Koreans love Sam. Thank you. Chris? Yeah. <laughs> I got the, uh, kind of like, there's only like, Three or four restaurants in town, so like it ends up being the same, yeah. Like after games, we always get Takaria, the same thing. Takaria, Chick fil A. So, yeah, pretty much. But when, when she comes, we eat different stuff. We eat more, more of an eclectic taste, tasty food, right? Director of Life Development. That's, that's what happens, right? What do, what do we get when you're here? We go to this one Korean place a lot when she's here. Asian Bistro a lot. That's what I thought about. Yeah. We also we get ramen a lot too, right? But yeah. you do that on your own as well, right? Yeah, I got one spot. I just go one ramen spot. We'll go. We'll go at some point. And then we also like going to that Mediterranean spot. Yeah. So. 
No shortage of meals. How, how does that, has it always been like that? Yeah, for sure. My mom's like my best friend. Like, you know, she comes to most of my games from a different country. Yeah, we, we talk pretty much every day. And I, I talked about everything. So, like, having her in my corner is definitely amazing. Like, it helps me in everything. Talking about not just basketball, but like everything about it, like what I'm thinking. Um, it makes it a lot easier for me to handle all my challenges. Good eats, good eats, good eats, baby. Thank you. Thank you. Nah, she was supportive for sure. Maybe a little bit. I didn't really realize like when I left for that senior year of high school it was like the last time I was ever gonna live at home. I didn't really realize that till now. Missed me a little bit, but she definitely she knew it was time. It's really just me, my mom, and my dad. Um, tight circle. We'd be kicking it. My mom's family lives in Korea, but my biological father is half white, half black. But like my dad, who I live with. Um, he's been in my life since I was like two years old. He's he's white, he's from Toronto. Um, yeah. I don't know, I don't know. That was um, the commentary for the Raptors. His kid plays hockey here. So it's kind of it's crazy, small world. Like, obviously I write, like his voice, watched every game when I was growing up, so. It's cool, I never actually met him before, so that was kind of random when we saw him in the diner. <laughs> but yeah. He kind of seemed like a regular dad there. He didn't seem like a commentator. So Matt was saying, oh, I mentioned you a couple of times on the air. Hey, there's my two right here. <laughs> Wait, what? Why, Sorry, continue, why are you guys continue, laughing continue, continue, so much right now? Continue. He's laughing. Look at him. Look at him. Why is this so funny? Say hi. Why is this so good? Shout out Nick. Hello, Shay. How are you? What up, bro? Nice to meet you. Nice um, got to go see my parents. How you doing? Hey, Ryan, hi. great to see you. I'm Kyung. Great to see you. Hi, Ryan. Ryan. Pleasure Thanks. to meet you. What's going on? Walking around? Yes. Yeah, got a meal? Just kicking a little, That's awesome. little meal, yeah. Where are you by your parents? Yeah, they're down that way somewhere. I got to figure it out a little bit. That's what's up. So. Shoot around 2:30. Yeah. Are yeah. you blessed? Yeah, I'm blessed. Great I'm to blessed. see you, man. I'm blessed. I'm blessed. How's everything? Dana life coming soon? <laughs> coming soon. It's loading. That's tough. It's loading. That's tough. Yeah. What have you shot so far? Nothing, bro. We just got breakfast. That's it. That's the matter. Tough. Yeah. Classic. And then we're gonna go crib right now. That's it. How long does it take to edit, hypothetically? Um, whoop. So you said like you only had Princeton as an offer like officially out of high school? Yeah, bro, just Princeton. The only other school I ever talked to me was like some like, I think like some like smaller D2, like Penn State something like DM me on Twitter. And I like screenshot it because I was the first coach to talk to me. But oh. Princeton was one school that like actually like reached out to me and talked to me for real. This is Nick, Nick must see everyone, everything. Last year for winning like the regular season in the Ivy League. This wasn't oh, for like okay. March Madness or anything, it was just for winning like the regular season. I've never seen these before. Ugly. Huh? These yeah. is that is that Canada? I don't, I think so. It's, it's, a, it's a good variety of like, you know, barbecue, sea salt, Kristen? sweet potato, salt and vinegar. Yeah. Oh. You wanna come in and see? You do your shopping at Costco? My mom does. How, how do you know that? Oh, the water? The water. Yeah. <laughs> Look, that's, that's a steal. That water from Costco is a steal. The alkaline. The, alkaline, the alkaline. alkaline water. Obviously. Substantial. I don't know what this is. Replenish your electrolytes. Okay. With alkaline water. Yeah, she always, every time she comes, she brings me more water. Which is good. Which is nice. Oh, you come here every game? Not almost. every Not every game. Almost. In season. Yeah, in season, I'm usually mm. here every other weekend. Okay. Or wherever they are. Whether it's in Princeton or on the road. What's the farthest you have to like travel? Well, I mean the Ivy League. She's coming at Dartmouth and Harvard. Yeah, which is doing ridiculous. That. Dartmouth and Harvard next weekend. I did the um, Yale driving Brown. With driving with Colleen. Oh yeah, right. To Dartmouth and Harvard, and then obviously for March Madness, flew out to Sacramento. Oh. Okay. Yeah. How far is Dart Dartmouth? 
So, so what we're planning to do, we're gonna drive from Toronto to Harvard to Boston, which is like nine and a half hours. All day. And then um, stay there for two nights, and then drive on the morning of the Dartmouth game to Hanover, New Hampshire, and that's I think about just over two hours, um, and then drive back to Toronto from New Hampshire. How far is that? It's probably nine hours. Um, All of the Ivies are roughly between eight and nine hours, just different directionally. Do a lot of people recognize you on campus? Uh, I will say like on campus, no, like the students, yeah. it feels the exact same as last year, but like when we walk into town, like I get no slouch, it's kind of cool. Mm. But not really on campus, not really on campus. But in, in the public, yeah. Which is kind of good, I feel like. Yeah. Like, it would be kind of weird if you're on campus and like everyone know you, but. Everyone here is like so locked in, like super good at something. So it's like no one really cares. So. Oh. You know okay. what I mean? Yeah. Isn't this your guys' best season? Yeah, yeah. Oh. Yeah. In how long? Uh. I think like the start of the season, we're off to the best start in like a hundred years or something. Straight right, yeah. Do you guys have a lot of back to backs? Yeah, Ivy season is only like probably like four back to backs. And then, like the rest of the weekends are one game, but mostly back to back. Is that only Ivy League does that? Yeah. Um. I think it's like for academic purposes. <laughs> like they like they don't want us traveling on school days. So we play back to back on the weekend, which kinda sucks to be honest, but it is fair though, because if we miss classes, like it's kind of hard to catch up. It's kind of hard to catch up. So, did you see that they changed the um, the Dartmouth? Thing? Yeah. It's the Dartmouth Harvard game. To what? So originally, originally it was supposed to be on uh, March. Yeah, the backpacks are tough though. Like with the travel, it's easier at home. Like yesterday we played Brown, today we play Yale. But like when we did that trip two weeks ago, but like we went and played away, it was tough. But at home, it's a little easier. Do you guys always have a lot of homework when you go on the road to do? <laughs> yeah, a little bit. I don't really, I don't know. I don't do as much as I should when we travel, but oh. it's tough when you're, it's tough when you're yeah. like, it's easy to say, but like when you're on the bus and stuff, yeah, it's too bumpy. But like, Caden and I are in a lot of same classes and we sometimes have to do like problem sets while we're traveling, which sucks. Mm -hmm. Sometimes I try to do my reading when we're on the bus, but usually I just end up like listening to music, organizing my playlist. Yeah, I wasn't even worried about that. Like those people are in my corner, like they're with me, like doing well, doing bad. It wasn't, it wasn't that they were there at all. Like it was nice to have them there, but like it just sucked not winning. Like I just, as a team, we love to compete and do our best and win games. So when you lose and you know like you played bad, it sucks. But I don't know. My mom does a really good job of like keeping me like, like I, I have it right there. It says never too high, never too low. And when I'm sleeping, I just look at it. So it just kind of reminds me like it's gonna be okay. Like can't ride the highs or the lows. Um, in fact, after that game, I was like, I got to her. I started crying. It was the first time I cried in a minute. But I don't know why. I just felt overwhelmed from like everything. She got me. Essential, essential oils. What y'all know about this? Um, basically, over break, a little tangent right here. Uh, let me just show y'all. I got really into candles, bro. I got, I got, I asked for a bunch of candles for Christmas. I had no plays, got candles. Create a little ambiance in here. But then they told me fire. P safe is like the people on campus that tell you, it's like campus police. And I found out that candles aren't allowed. And if they find it, you get charged a hundred dollars for every candle. I had like five of them in my room, so I had to delete all my candles, got rid of them after they were used. Don't tell, be safe. And then I replaced that. Bought this off Amazon, fifteen bucks. Diffuser, which y'all know about. Diffuser is good game, great game. I love my diffuser, a little lamp too. But then I got my diffuser right, and it didn't come with any essential oils, so I couldn't even use it. So I told my mom, I asked her. She's big into all that stuff, obviously, and my dad. My dad. I use it for the vibe, but 
So I asked her to bring me some essential oils. So after Cornell, I was all like rattled, but I got my essential oils though. How do you feel about like uh, Xavier getting more attention and stuff? Was it like this year? No. Oh. I would I wouldn't say it was like this last year. Um, I, I you know like I think that it's a double edged sword, uh, right? You you appreciate the support and the love from the community, um, but at the same time you also don't want it to be a distraction. You want to be able to stay focused um, yeah. on your goals and. With the positive, there's always the negative. So there's love and then there's also hate. Mm. You know, so it's about kind of being true to yourself and being able to rise in spite of situations that may make it hard for you to rise. Yeah. Yeah. So I would say, um, I'd say it's a good and a bad to it, like everything. Else. Print in your homework? Yeah. The professor makes us like hand in a physical copy. Can't just like drop it in. It's crazy because at TikTok, like, people thought maybe not it was fake, but like we were like boosting for it. Like, we really were doing our problem set the night before we played, me and Cade, for our math class. Um, and we like, we, I remember we flew there, we had walked through in the hotel. And then we had team meal, and by the time we got up, it was like 10 p.m. And I, all of our problem sets were doing like 11.59. So we were like scrambling, trying to do that. I was like, Jack, bro, if you record this, it'll go viral right now. And he did, and it went, it went viral on my account and his account. I gotta go to all of them, because like if you fall behind, I don't know, I'm not smart enough to do, learn it all by myself. And I'm you guys gonna have tutors on the road? All the no tutors, no just tutors. us, no tutors. Just us. Just us. It's just me and Kay, we get done. Hey. But, Oh, y'all in the same major? Yeah, we take all our class uh, together. That's for sure. Yeah. Y'all have the same times and everything, too, huh? Yeah, same lectures. Back row, Warriors. If I see it, I'll send you a photo. Okay, all right. Good, 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 good. Great brackets, great brackets. Uh, we will play some pool, but they playing. What do you want, nothing? No, I got class at uh, 12 30. Good eats? Damn it. <laughs> Fair enough. We're gonna just be chilling. We're about to just chill your flight. Like your major is NBA? <laughs> My major is econ, but the goal is NBA. Mm. But it's hard to balance the two because, like, everyone says school's a priority, which is, like, facts, but, like, I have my own goals too, so. Try to do both stuff. Sometimes like, do I do my homework or do I go shoot? <laughs> and I'm gonna always pick shoot, so it's tough. Exam time comes, I just try my best. Try my best. There we go. Thank you. Hey, uh, can I get a burrito bowl with uh, rice, beans, and chicken, please? Thank you. Morning fish. And can I get um extra chicken there? Thanks. Hey, and then jalapenos and uh, lettuce too. Anything else? Oh, no, I said thanks. Anything else in here? Um, I'll try to get a little more lettuce. Any sauce? Hey, no, nah, I'm gonna get sauce. We went to Conti's, like a pizza place as a team, and he sat there and didn't eat any pizza for like 20 minutes trying to be healthy. Shut I feel like every time in the video, I'm just getting on my fault. I folded though. Yeah, I ate I that pizza. Crushed it. Brushed it. Me on the other hand, I'll eat like. You don't eat bad though, like. I eat you guys on our team that eat bad. Yeah, Ryan, I get a salad, but like, if you Ryan, take me to McDonald's, I'm getting a lot. Ryan Duncan Big Mac. put fries, a piece of cake, and a hot dog, and that's his dinner. Yeah. But I do. I only do it for the aesthetic, not for like the health benefits. I do it to get different colors. Yeah, Dunk has some crazy plates. Dev too. That'd be crazy. I just be eating random, bro. We got, this bite's got cucumbers, rice, carrots, chicken, and hot sauce. Yeah, it's mod. None of those foods are supposed to go together. Just recently died and raised her up. If your liver is troubling you, they'd find this stone. This guy, I got this. I got this on mod. 
You got that last time. What? Hey, I Logan. missed? You guys always hang out, like all the, a lot of the, the younger people on the team. Class, man. Uh, yeah, Sundays when somebody finishes the work, we all hang out. Oh, that's the big thing around here, homework. Homework. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, homework. Yes. Sundays. Sundays when people do it. And then Sundays like the food. one day we don't have anything to do besides like just work, sleep, yeah. and school. Yeah. And we we always eat together, so like that basically connects everything. Okay. A little bit. Like when we go into town, some of the restaurants you like you could pay for with uh, like your student points. Yeah. Like the one we're going to right now, I think it's gonna be covered. Jacob though. <laughs> hey, hey, tell them about our 10 day plans. 10 day plan, we had a 10 day plan. <laughs> Wait, you guys have the timeline. The we contest. made it on February 4th. February 10 day plan. We had a 10 day plan for Valentine's Day. <laughs> By Valentine's Day, we were both gonna have some girlfriends. I don't know about girlfriends, but something like that. We're we're we're, we're a ten day contract. Players. We're trying we're trying to get the extension. You signed us to a ten day, and uh, Xavier got cut real quick. I got waived after game after game three. Game. I know. You got yours to go. Yeah, of course. I don't. We have to find a seat though. You can just ask them to make it to go. Where do you want to sit? Talk to and just buy a drink. That's the point. You usually do that like eating Asian food or you try to switch it up? We switch it up to be honest. We don't really, we get this a little bit sometimes. But. Is the dining hall or? Yeah, watch out there. Dining hall is usually like, what type, like, what type of food is that? Like pasta, chicken, rice. I'm saying you guys usually eat out or? Usually we eat in the dining hall, to be honest. We only really eat out on like. Special occasion? Not even special occasion. We probably eat out like two, three times a week. Yeah, yeah. Like every other day. Because the dining hall food is good, but it gets boring. Like the same thing every time. Everything's so expensive in town. Yeah. Like dining hall, I was trying to get my cat, that's just mukbangs. It's not, it's not hitting, bro. It's not. It's not we got we got one deal, Nick. We got one deal. PJ's pancakes. We got two hundred fifty dollar gift card. Yeah, shout out them. Shout out them. He got a deal with Powerade. Yeah. <laughs> Not yet. MT. I would love. I would love a boba nil deal. That'd be fire. Free boba. That'd be hard. But because there's one place right there. We'll probably go there tomorrow. But I get like. Before every game day, I always get the same drink. The night before, I always get a honeydew milk tea. It's weird, but I'll be honest. Honeydew? honeydew, honeydew. You know about honeydew or not? I love it. <laughs> Honeydew's mandatory. You guys, like, every student gets $150 to go, like, wherever. But, like, that's it. Yeah, yeah, it's included. It's included. Uh, it's like breakfast, lunch, dinner, but then there's also another dining hall where you can get like late lunch and late dinner. And like, I'm trying to gain weight, so I, I go like to all five of them. Like I just eat every, like I'm, we talk about bro, but like I'm never hungry and I'm always eating, so. Did you just start doing that? This year, yeah, this year. Cause last year during the season, I lost hella weight. Like I, I lost like, I was really light last year to start, and I lost like even more. I, I came in at like 165 to college, and by the end of the year, I was like 155. Like it was bad. It was bad. But it's because I didn't eat breakfast last year. Like I, I didn't get up. Like I always go straight to my first class. But this year, like now, now I do my workout before class, so I have to eat before my workout. But last year, I'd work out before practice. So like I like work out, film, practice, it's like four hours, and I wouldn't eat at all. So it's like you lose weight, and I didn't get breakfast. But now I work out before, and eat breakfast before and after. So it's like, I like the food for sure, but I don't know, I probably eat it like the same amount as everything else. You know what I mean? But I like it. Uh, I'm half Korean. My mom's fully Korean. What are you? 
Filipino? Filipino? Yeah, of course, of course, of course. I'm not gonna lie, when I was younger, um, like biologically, I'm half Korean, quarter white, quarter black, so everyone just thought I was Filipino, because I'm just a little darker. Are you quarter black? Quarter white, quarter black, yeah. But yeah, when I was younger, like, referees and stuff would come up to me speaking, was it Tagalog? What are they? Yeah, they would come to me and I was like, bro, I don't wanna do that. For some reason, all the refs in Toronto are Filipino. They're all Filipino, like all of them. There's a lot of Filipinos out there. Yeah, there's a lot. They got their own league and stuff. They always try to ask me to play in a league. I'm like, bro, I can't. I don't got a passport. They asked me for the passport. Like, they would like try to finesse and let me play in the leagues with the Filipinos. I'm like, bro, I'm not going for that. They're all too quick and stuff. I'm not gonna lie, microwave's crazy. <laughs> microwave, microwave's crazy. Microwave's crazy. <laughs> my boy is crazy. I don't get my haircut out here. Like I haven't got I haven't got a haircut since I was home. I don't I don't trust him. <laughs> I don't trust him. Bro, cause one time I don't know. I've only got my haircut by the same guy my entire life, so the Asian people out there, what kind of cut do you get? Bro, a lot of people ask me. I don't know, like I just I don't know. Yeah, my he just knows what to do. I don't, I don't know what it's called. I just tell him he clips up the top and then like just fades aside. But I don't put anything on my hair, so it just kind of like turns into a mess. I lost right. my earrings, bro. Tragic. Second pair I lost. I can't tell my mom she's gonna be tight. She bought me new earrings for the second time, and I lost them both. Yeah. Now nah, you keep it. You keep this cool. But no, I think I think I've because I lost the. I lost the right one, and then last weekend I lost the new pair. So I think I can I can match the last two. But There's a big uh, international population out here. Huh? In Princeton? Yeah. Like the students are from everywhere. It's like that in Cali. Yeah, being from Orlando, I wasn't used to being around. Them. Oh, you you grew up in Orlando? You don't like upgrading your phone or something? Chill, sure, bro. Not <laughs> saying. Yeah, I don't know. I need a new one. Keep it humble. Yeah, keep it humble. Well, I thought it was that. I think it's an 11. I don't know, how do you tell? Maybe next year. Maybe next year. Once, once that NIL hit, maybe. Once that NIL hit. Still works, right? Yeah, it works great. Perfect. Yeah, I had the. Uh, what you got? I had the. Not this upgraded. Bro. Nick get, Nick, get the cause in there. I'm not gonna pose with it. It's hard though. I can't eat right like this. Yo, Mark. I don't know. Hugs. You, you trying to get like that? The things we would do. You could definitely get to the bucket if you want to. You know what I mean? In the summer, I'm not a big fighter guy, but like I got really into like UFC. Just like, I don't know why, it was really weird. I've never been to that my whole life, but just like the mentality the fighters have, like betting on themselves, like you have like six months between a fight and when you go in that, it's like you versus him, like you have to like believe you're the best. And then when that doesn't work out and you get punched in the face, you have to like deal with it. So I don't know, I kind of like resonated with that. So it's just like roll with the punches to me, it just means like, when adver like adversity is gonna come, it's just like how you deal with it. You know, like sticking to what you know and just controlling what you can. <laughs>